again I'm going to make sure I select my alpha map here. I'm going to paint out a bit of the rust through here. Let's go back into our materials. I don't want steel, it's a bit too shiny. This old iron, I'm going to bring it to the very top layer. Again, let's pull back on our height, position, and range. Um, I'm just reducing the roughness value a bit to, to make it not quite as shiny. I'm going to uh, add another white mask. Back into my brushes again. I'm going to pull back on my brush size quite a bit. It's not feathering the way I want it to. I'm going to undo that. I'm actually going to turn off my height information for um, these three textures. Okay, it's giving me a bit more control now. It was the height information that was making it um, look blobby. What I'm doing here is I'm just um, erasing part of the matte metal to reveal the uh, shinier metal underneath, just on these edges. I'm actually going to go into my, and use my Wacom Tablet pen here for this as well. This gives me a little bit more control over what I'm doing.
Let's rotate that around a bit. Now. I'm also just pulling back here on the um the mixing of the underlying the above the, the layer above with the one below like Photoshop's uh, opacity really. Keep going along this uh, bottom edge. So again, I'm just uh, making this hard edge here a little bit shinier, so it looks like the metal is worn on it. It's a little difficult to see because of um, the angle and the... Uh, the reflection that's on the metal. Let's work on the top edge now. Why are you dying so fairy? Oh no, the flu, that's no good. Yeah, I haven't had the flu for a while, touch wood. Um, and it's never nice when you do. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Like I said, it's, it's always a horrible feeling when you've got the flu. So I do ho I hope you hope you feel better. Have some hot soup or something. I can never remember if it's starve a cold and feed a fever or the other way around. I always get them confused. So if it is the other way around, don't have some soup. I think, um, yeah, depending on where you are too, you want to make sure you don't get a chill. You put on a bunch of layers and turn the thermostat up, yep, that sounds like a good good plan. Because yeah, you want to make sure you don't, don't get a chill. back on that and um, check what we're doing here. I'm actually going to change my brush here to a quite a large um, dirt brush. Again, I'm still using my Wacom tablet though. Um, I'm going to reduce the size of that brush a bit. And remember, this is this is just a flat plane, so unfortunately we don't have a lot of geometry to work with here. I'm just painting out some of the matte material to relieve, uh, reveal a bit more of the um, the shiny material underneath. The metal underneath, I should say. You're a bit uh, a bit early today, Smurfberry, as well. Maybe it's because you're sick. You leave work a bit early.
I'm just erasing some of the um, matte material from the top layer to reveal a bit more of the, um, the shinier metal underneath. I'm going to start to do the same thing up along. Oh, no, not quite that much. Let's undo that. Reduce my brush a bit more as well. Up along the sides of, um, of these pieces. You only left one minute early, but traffic was light? Oh, okay. You didn't swing by any stores on the way home? Okay. Well, well it's good to see you. And I'm sorry you're not feeling very well. Like I said, I know it's not nice when you're sick. You don't realise um, just how good it is when you're in good health too until you get sick. You forget what being healthy feels like until you're sick. And it makes you appreciate being healthy a lot more. But, uh, and, and so, yeah, I, I, my sympathies to you, dude. I'm doing the same thing here that I did with the um, those metal in air intakes for the building. I'm not going all the way along that edge. I'm just touching it here and there. And again, I'm using the Wacom tablet so I can get a bit more control over uh, just how much I'm erasing the top layer from the bottom layer. Look at this top ledge now. shine happening on maybe a couple of these swirls as well. Maybe that piece just through the middle there. a little bit down on along this uh, straight edge I'll make sure I hit these square edges quite a bit because I want them to be a bit more shiny and some of these swirls as well. Maybe those spiky bits there on the end. so I can see the light hitting where we've actually painted out to re reveal more of the silver. The shiny metal, I should say, from underneath it, of the model of the uh, layer on top. Let's jump around to this side and check it. Yeah, 
So we don't forget these ones over here. rounded piece as well. Thank you for the host Kiori. I hope you're well as well. back here a bit. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm painting wear in on the metal. So um, the old metal is oxidized and made it like a, a mat. And what I'm doing here is painting in where um, that mat has worn off to reveal the shinier metal underneath. Yeah, I know. There's no thumbs up emote. I don't have emotes because I'm not a um, partner, so... I think Twitch only lets um, partners have emotes. Actually, I, I know Twitch is having problems with their standard emotes as well. I noticed on their Twitter page for uh, support, people have been saying that emotes weren't working, so that could have something to do with it too. Uh, I do use better Twitch TV, so I could probably create some emotes that way. Maybe I should. If you guys want to use emotes, I know a lot of people like using emotes when they chat. I'm just going to have a look at the other circle on this side here. this section through here Move a bit from the bottom edge as well. Okay, and we'll make sure we've uh, done that for the front edges of this too. Uh, 
In fact, I'm just going up uh, in a spot here and there just so it doesn't create like a line across the bottom. There's a bit of variation in the um, in the wearing. Might just remove a bit more from this uh, circle. Let's see if we want to add, uh, I'm just going to jump into that material here, which is the one below it, the uh, rusted material. Let's turn on my hide information again. Let's see, play with our height values a little bit here. Too much. There. I want this great this uh, iron work. It, it's like a, a wall section separating two rooms. I want it to look old, but I don't want it to look like it's just about to rust out. So I'm just going to keep pulling back on my height range a bit and my height value. I keep forgetting. Pushing it down that way is zero. In most programs, zero starts here uh, and goes up, but it's, it's flipped around in Substance Painter. And I always get confused. So I'm just pulling back a little on the height information so it doesn't look quite as rusted. I want a bit of a bit of height information in here, but, but I don't want it to look like it's just about to fall apart. And we can play with our um, our roughness value here to make it more or less shiny. Same thing with our normal intensity. I might pull that back a bit too. Okay, let's jump um, back up to our... I'm going to turn that off for a minute. I want to look at the underlying layer. Okay. Let's go to our metal use, which is our bottom layer. The one that we turn to a more of a bluish uh, co colored tint of the metal. And let's play with our rust value a bit. And our height as well. Make sure I turn height on. If it's not switched on, playing with our height is not going to make much difference. Turn up our ambient occlusion a little. I'm going to pull back on luminosity. I'm going to pull up a bit on contrast. I want to darken that underlying layer up just a little bit. Back to our top layer. Let's turn hide on. Now. I don't like these blobs, so I'm actually going to switch hide off on our top layer. But that's happening because of our um, our mask. But I do want to play with the um, 
the roughness value a bit, which is going to affect how shiny the metal looks. I don't want it to be super shiny, I want it to be a little bit more subdued. Blurbs? I don't understand what, what you mean, Snow Fairy. What are blurbs? I'm actually going to re uh, remove this base lag. It's, we're, we're not using it. Yeah, well, what are blurbs? Snow Fairy? <laughs> What's a blurb? Oh, silly way to say blobs. <laughs> okay. I thought you might have been hallucinating for a minute because of maybe you got a fever or something. I've turned the rough layer off on the very bottom layer because turning it on I feel just makes that a bit too shiny. Hallucinations come later. <laughs> hey well I've heard cough medicine can be very good for that. Remember that episode of South Park, I don't know if you guys have seen it where all the kids um, start buying cough medicine and sit down and watch dogs in cute outfits and things on TV. They say cute, super cute. They're all off their nut on, on cough medicine. <laughs> so be careful with that cough medicine, there's no fear. I'm just going to save this project here quickly. Um, I'll create a new folder. I'm just going to call it Iron Deco. And we'll call the project Iron Deco as well. Um, I'm not really completely <laughs> completely uh, sold on the texture that I'm using for this um, piece of geometry. If we jump back into Max and we look at uh, the original, I'm just going to go out of isolation mode here. And we go back to the original, um, where is it here? Yeah. Texture we were using for that. I actually prefer the texture to the painted up version, but what we can do uh, is there's no reason we can't use both. So we can uh, use the underlying texture and then in Photoshop we can overlay the um, the altered version that we've just painted up in uh, Substance. So let's do an export here. So I'm going to export textures. Um, let's just uh, export them into that folder we just created. Uh, UE4 projects, I'm getting lost. I'll take a building. Uh, I think we put it under exports, did we? Painter. Iron Deco, that's where we want to put it. Let's select that folder and um, let's do an export. What warnings are you giving me? No, it's fine. It's got our iron. Yeah, that's cool. 
Let's jump back into uh, Max here. Alright, so we have our unwrap, <coughs> pardon me, our unwrap here. That, this is really what I want to look at. I'm just going to turn off my X form for a minute and jump back to my unwrap UBW here. Open that up and have a look. Okay. I'm just, we, we put our unwrap on which messed up our original texture map so there are a couple of ways I could fix that. I could um, re-import, reopen this version in Max and it'll have my original UV map on. I, I want to see if there's a way that I can actually uh, work with my original textures. Doesn't look like there is. Just turn that off for a minute. Yeah, it looks like when I put that. Oh no, no, no yes, no. Hard for me to see. Hang on, let me turn off my uh, edge edge map seams and peel seams here. Yeah, no, it's messed up our original texture map. So what we can do is, I can open up my um, UBW editor, and I can save my UVs. Oh, hang on. That's the original texture map. Okay. Let me undo this for a minute. Okay, now if I open up my UV editor, I just did undo a couple of times. These are our new UVs, the ones we've just painted up in substance. So I'm going to um, save those UVs. Iron section, that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll call it new UVW. Uh, I'm going to abandon that. I'm going to jump back down to my base mesh here. Do an unwrap, open up my UV editor. No, didn't do that. I don't want it to do that. These are the original UVs, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to save the UVs. I'm going to call these old UVW. I'm going to turn my first unwrap UVW on, open my editor, I'm going to load UVs, old UVs, so we're back to our original UVW which has brought back our original texture, turn these off so you can see it. Now I'm going to I'm just going to keep those two turned off for the moment. I'm going to throw down another Unwrap UVW on top of that one. This one I'm going to change to Map Channel 2. Uh, we'll go Move. It doesn't matter if you go Move or Abandon. I'm going to open up our UVW editor. I'm going to load UVs. I'm going to pick the new UVs that we saved out before. So again, now it's back to the way it was in Substance Painter. And now I'm going to do a render to texture, but before I do that, I'm going to delete this old UVW map. We'll leave the X form on, that's fine. But uh, let's go render and then render to texture. Come on, Max. 
We're going to uh, use existing channel 2. We're going to add a diffuse map. Uh, we'll save it out as 2048. It's bigger than we need probably, but like I said, better to go bigger than smaller. Too big than too small. Let's just save it into our folder here called Iron Section. We'll leave it called Iron Section Diffuse Map. I'm actually going to save it as a PNG, not a T TGA. And 24 bit is fine, we don't need an alpha channel. So we're using existing map channel 2, diffuse map at 2048. Let's do a render. That is not right. Just let me have a look at this again. That's, that, that's not correct. It shouldn't have done that. Let me turn off my X form. That could be causing a problem at this stage. Open our first UVW map. Okay. Our second unwrap UVW. That's okay. Map channel 2. Let's try that again. Map channel 2. Use existing channel. No, that's still not quite right. I'm going to um, collapse my stack here. Check our UVs again. That's correct. Let's try it again. Existing channel 2. Okay. No, that's still not right. We may leave it there today, guys. I'll check this out um, over the weekend and work out what is going on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the original texture for this piece of geometry. Um, I'm going to overlay the old texture with the new texture we just created in Substance Painter. Uh, because I, I want more interest in, in the texture than I'm getting here in Substance with its default materials. Uh, but I, I, I will keep some. Of, I, I want to keep the original substance texture because it'll add a bit more interest to our original texture that we're using in Mac. So we're going to overlay this one on top of the original texture, um, and all that means is I've got to render out the texture in Mac. But that's fine. I'll do that over the weekend. Um, I'll be back on Monday next week uh, at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the U.S. I do want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and for watching. Uh, remember, if you're not sure when I'm going to be live, I always post 15 minutes before I go live to my Twitter page, at PhilDoes3D. Uh, when we come back next week, we will continue on with uh, exporting these assets and bringing them into Unreal, like we did with the uh, door and the, uh, and the Art Deco door. We'll gradually build up our assets uh, so that we can start rebuilding that Art Deco building. <coughs> Pardon me rebuilding the building in Unreal. You're quite welcome, Smurfberry. Um, <clears throat> I hope you're feeling better soon. I hope, you, I hope you're feeling better soon, Smurfberry, and you get over the flu. It's not nice, and yeah. So I hope you, you feel better. Um, Steely Johnson, you're quite welcome. Thank you for hanging out and for watching. Thank all you guys for hanging out and for watching. I'm losing my voice. Uh, I will be back on Monday next week. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, uh, again, like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be back at 5 p.m. on Monday next week. Have a good weekend, guys.